Welcome to BuildBox 3. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how lights work with developing in BuildBox. Specifically, we're going to take a look at point lights and spotlights. So first I want to show you where you can find these lights in BuildBox. If you're over here in your mind map, you want to go into your 3D world and the menus over here on the left you can minimize and you can go ahead and find lights down here at the bottom. First, I'll go ahead and choose a scene that I think would work well for a point light, and I'll go ahead and drag my point light out into my scene. I'll zoom out, and I'll go ahead and drag my point light over into the center of my scene, and I'll lift it up. Now, the way a point light works, it is basically a glowing light source that is going to shine in all directions. So if you try to rotate the object around or rotate the point light around, it's not going to matter. It's going to have a direction that is shooting off completely 360. Now, if you want to increase the intensity of this light source, you can do so easily by cranking up the setting over here on the right hand side. And you can see here that if you drag the light source closer and farther away, you can see that the effect is changed on the wall. Also, you can change the color of the light by changing the color wheel over here. You can see now I've got this real nice pink light and you can create some really cool effects by changing the color of the light as well. I'll go ahead and switch it back to white and press OK for right now. And then the last thing that you can do with these point lights is you can change the range. You can make them extremely bright and wide. So if you want to really, really get a bright light that is shining everywhere, you can change the range to increase significantly. I'll go ahead and crank the setting back down to 10. And this is essentially some of the things that you can do with the point light. You can get some really cool effects with it and I highly recommend using it in your games. Now, one quick side note that I wanna show you when working with lights is whether or not you want your objects in your scene to cast shadows. For instance, you can see that this platform right here casts a shadow onto this back wall. Well, maybe you don't want that. So the way you can do that is you can go over here to your objects, select the object that you're working with. For me, it's a black rotating platform. And then you select the 3D model and you decide whether or not you want to cast a shadow onto other objects or receive a shadow from other objects. So I'll go ahead and turn off cast shadow and I'll go back to my 3D world. And now you can see that even though I have this light source shining down on this object, it is not casting a shadow on any other objects. Just a little side note when working with light sources. Lastly, let's go ahead and check out how the spotlight works in our scene. I'll go ahead and drag a spotlight out into our scene and then I'll drag it over here into the center of my scene. Now this is a directional light. While the point light is shining in all directions, the spotlight is very much shining in one direction. So keep that in mind when you're using the spotlight. Let's go ahead and rotate the spotlight around and see how that looks. So I'll go ahead and shift the direction of the spotlight here. I'm going to shift it over here to the side and I'm going to actually keep it here shining to the side because I'm going to show you how you can change the look and feel of that spotlight with some of the settings over here on the right hand side. First thing you'll want to notice is similarly to the point light, you can also change the color of the spotlight as well. You just select the color here and then you choose the color that you want it to be and then you press OK. You can see here there was a nice change to the color. OK, now let's go ahead and work with the intensity of the spotlight. I'll go ahead and increase the intensity to 10 and now you can really see that pink spotlight shining on the wall. Also, you can change the range. Let's go ahead and shorten the range here to about 5 and you can see here that the spotlight is now fading in a very, very short distance and that could be a really cool effect. And then also let's go ahead and change the cutoff angle. So if I change the cutoff angle to 90, it is going to fire off equally straight up and down and it is going to do basically a half circle. But if you want to tighten your spotlight and make it a real thin directional spotlight, you can go ahead and change the cutoff angle to something more acute. And then you would need to rotate your camera around again something like this, and then you can get the, uh, that effect. Now you can see that the cutoff angle is much smaller. Let's go ahead and increase the range so you can see this, and then I'll change the angle again, something like this. And you can see now that if I bring it in closer to the wall and I rotate it, it'll have that same effect of the spotlight as before, but it's much thinner. 
So that pretty much covers it for point light and spotlight. They're really, really cool features that I highly recommend you use in your games. I hope you like this tutorial and keep an eye out for more tutorials at buildbox.com.